What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMode.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, May 18th. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. And finally, let me know in the comments section who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate. We are rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Robert Williams, Jalen McDaniels, Howell Neto, Jason Tatum, and Terry Rozier on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites, my top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we're going to the small forward position and we are grabbing Miles Bridges. He's 6,800, projected for 35. The goal's 44. He's in the optimal lineup 54% of the time. I've got Bridges now that he is back in the lineup Playing 38 minutes, 0.9 fantasy points per minute, basically neutral usage, 18 points, seven and a half boards, two assists, two stocks. You get the benefit of the big pace up spot against Indiana. They gained 3.8 possessions over their average. I really like the minutes here at a small forward spot. That's pretty tough to fill. And on a day like today, where value doesn't exist the same way that it does in the regular season, it's a much more balanced build. And getting someone at 6,800, pretty close to the average salary for the day, I think Bridges' upside, the fact that he could play 38, even 40 minutes today, makes him a really nice point-per-dollar option. Staying at the small forward spot for number four, we're going to Washington, and we're getting Rui Hachimura. He's 5,100, projected for 25. The goal's 37. He's in the optimal lineup 57% of the time. Now, I've got Rui in for 34 minutes. He is Sort of one of the better pay down options of the day, even at 5,100. 0.75 fantasy points per minute. So not all that great there. You're going to need him to be out there a lot. 17% usage, 14 points, six boards, and honestly, very little else. In a relatively difficult matchup against Boston, it's a little bit better since there's no Jalen Brown, but pace neutral for the Wizards. Celtics defense, good enough. It is a tricky spot, but it's hard to find anybody that allows you to pay down so that you can pay up elsewhere. Rui at 5,100 actually gets that job done. Now at number three, we're going to the point guard spot. We're grabbing Kemba Walker. He's 8,200, projected for 45. The goal's 50. He's in the optimal lineup 57% of the time. For Walker, we know what we're getting here. Boston's trying to stay alive. He's going to play big minutes. I've got him in for 38 at 1.17 fantasy points per minute. He does see a big usage bump with no Jalen Brown on the floor. So I've got him at 30% usage, 28 real points, six assists, five boards, maybe a steal. And the biggest pace up spot you're going to find, even though playoff basketball slows down a bit, 5.5 possessions over their average by taking on the Wizards. That's massive. That's like two and a half extra fantasy points, maybe two extra fantasy points for Kemba Walker. That's why you see him climbing up so high. 8,200 for him, not all that big of a problem to me. But you can save a little bit of money at point guard and go to LaMelo Ball. He's 7,200, projected for 42. The goal is just 46, and he is in the optimal lineup 65% of the time. I think LaMelo plays 34 minutes. I think there's a, an ability to play more, but I also do think that there's a, a slight downside here and he could play less. But for right now, 34 feels pretty solid. 1.23 fantasy points per minute in this pace-up spot against the Pacers. I've got him in for 27% usage, 27 and 6, plus two steals. That's the underrated part of his game. Those steals are pretty important on FanDuel, obviously. 7,200 for Ball is just too cheap. He's too good of a per-minute performer to go to that price tag. The fact that he's so much cheaper than Kemba Walker is very interesting, and that's what's prioritizing Ball over Walker at the point guard spot. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Then head on over to Twitter and follow me, at Josh Engelman. It's the only place you're going to get the updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. Finally. Let me know in the comment section underneath this video, favorite contender, least favorite contender, and the contender that you think should be on this list that you didn't see. And trust me, I know exactly who that's going to be. And finally, the number one contender for today's slate, $5,700 shooting guard Marcus Smart. Projected for 35, the goal's 40. He's in the optimal lineup 76% of the time. Smart, I have him in for 38 minutes. He's... It's playoff time, which means we're going to get a lot of smart, particularly with no Jalen Brown. 0.93 fantasy points per minute, neutral usage at 20%, but you know that he can go off. 
16, six and four is the baseline two and a half stocks in a matchup against the wizards. Uh, Russ, I love, but he turns the ball over a lot. That plays right into Marcus Smart's hands if he can grab a couple extra steals. And the fact that he is only 5,700, it's so hard to pay down today. Getting a guy that I expect to play 36 plus minutes at just shy of a fantasy point per minute, no brainer. Barring any really crazy news, I expect Marcus Smart to maintain this spot as the number one contender for today's slate. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, May 18th. Process show is in the books. Go watch that. DraftKings version of this video exists as well. You should check that out, too, if you're playing on both sites. And finally, I will be on the strategy show today, 10 a.m. Eastern time with Lofty, but no live before lock for me. Make sure you are tuning in to Deeper Dive and Live Before Lock today. You don't want to miss any updates later on. Good luck tonight, everybody. We will be back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.